welcome to Isopods on Parade. In this chapter, we'll be looking at Orcelio Leves, the Dairy Cow Isopod. This is the Porcelio Leves, or commonly known as the Dairy Cow Isopod. It is probably one of the best known isopods and most favorite in the hobby. Its name, Porcelio Leves, is derived from Latin. Leves, meaning smooth or shiny, is in reference to the appearance of its exoskeleton. The other word, Porcelio, refers to porcine, or little pig. Hence, in Latin, the meaning of the word dairy cow's name is smooth and shiny little pig. Look, I'm, I'm just reading what it says here. The dairy cow isopod is perhaps one of the easiest isopods to maintain. Once a culture is established, you'll probably find that you're spending a minimal amount of time to make sure that their personal and specific needs are met. Perhaps known as one of the more active species out there in the isopod hobby, the Porcelio Levis is known as a dineural species. This means they are very active during the day and prefer to rest at night. The development and growth of the Porcelio Levis takes approximately seven to eight months and has been known to live up to three years. At full maturity, this isopod can grow up to 23 millimeters or just under one inch in length. And because they reproduce quickly, the dairy cow isopod makes for a great feeder critter to some reptiles and mammals. Having a voracious appetite, these isopods are a wonderful spectacle to watch as they eat, and eat they do. They will consume just about anything you give them, and this makes them a great addition to any bioactive enclosure as a cleanup crew. On that same note, you must keep a cautious eye on the Porcelio Levis because they require a protein-rich diet and have been known to become cannibalistic if these needs aren't met. When discussing the environmental needs of the dairy cow isopod, we need to cover four important points. Temperature, humidity, ventilation, and the substrate's moisture level. Point one, temperature. The temperature of an enclosure can vary between 18 to 23 degrees Celsius or 65 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Point two, humidity. This particular species can do fairly well in a moist environment, but it is recommended that the humidity level is set at a medium level of approximately 40 to 50 percent humidity. Point three, ventilation. And to help maintain that balance between temperature, humidity, and to make sure those isopods can breathe, give the enclosure a good amount of ventilation. These little land shrimp need their fresh air. Point four, substrate moisture level. The final and probably most important point to the dairy cow's enclosure is the substrate's moisture level. This isopod species appreciates a moisture gradient in its environment. This means the enclosure should be kept at a moderately damp level, where one side of the enclosure is moist and the other side is much drier. This 50-50 ratio allows the isopods to self-regulate their personal needs quite easily. In review, it is therefore recommended by the Royal Society that the Porcelio Levis or Dairy Cow Isopod be rated as a beginner level isopod. Thank you for watching Isopods on Parade. And folks, always remember to take care of the environment and not to destroy the earth. It's the only place where I have to keep my stuff. Thank you and good day. You've been watching the Kaiju ISO channel. Don't forget to hit that like button.